is scheduled for three rounds of five minutes each in the Legacy Heavyweight Division. Introducing first on my left, fighting out of the Star Motorcycles Blue Corner. He stands at five feet, seven inches tall, official weight, 228 pounds. This submission fighter holds a professional record, seven wins, three losses. Fighting out of Fort Smith, Arkansas. Across the cage on my right, fighting out of the Alienware red corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, his official weight 208 pounds. This wrestler holds a professional record of 22 wins against 5 defeats. Fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, Jerry, the Kevin Nix. All right, fighters, it's the main event. I expect a clean fight. Touch gloves, go to your corner, B-Warriors. It is the main event. It is the last ever legacy fight. It will amazingly take place at heavyweight between Aaron Cobb and Gerald Harris. The closing odds, thanks to Nick Kalikas. Harris, the favorite, minus 675. Fire the comeback ready. on Fire Cobb, ready. up right. plus 425. Harris's Harris eyes in the corner. I'm telling you, he's angry at Cobb for being this heavy. He wants to put a beating on him. Tremendous strength on Gerald Harris. Originally set at 180 tonight, they fight at heavyweight. Nice gut munching knee. Power. I don't think Gerald needs to waste a lot of energy here. If it's not there, let it go. Let Cobb wear himself out a little bit. See if he runs the pipe here. Oh, that's a power. The slam specialist! He had to get his arm out so the triangle didn't happen. He's, oh, he's out! He's, he's out! out. It's good! Not freaking Irene! That was freaking awesome! Gerald Harris, you're a stud! He slammed him unconscious! He slammed him unconscious! He slammed him onto the astral plane! That was a lot of anger coming out because of the heavy weight that Cobb came in. He set that up, got his arm out, got set, and then unloaded on him and dropped him like a ton of bricks, buddy. I have never seen that before. A welterweight picks up a man who blew up to heavyweight and slammed him into orbit. Oh, my word. Take a listen, folks. Watch what he does. He gets his arm out of the triangle, then he places his forearm across his throat to make sure he bounces his head off the canvas. He puts some thought <laughs> into that one, buddy. He had full intention of knocking him out on that slam. Poetic justice done here. It's not nice to say it, but maybe Aaron Cobb thoroughly deserved that. A humiliating defeat for Cobb. And what a way to end the history of this great organization legacy with a legacy-worthy finish. That is going to be hard to beat for the knockout of the year in 2016, I tell you. A man who's been 